My name is Kerry Duvall. This is a uh, journey of solidarity between uh, Luoyang, which is an ancient capital um, of China, I believe during the Song Dynasty, and uh, Dengfeng, which is the city closest to where the uh, Shaolin Temple is. Came from Beijing, where I was studying. Uh, I, I, I was I was uh, in a, in an accelerated Chinese course where I was basically taking a year of China, uh, Chinese in two months, and we had a week off. And a friend of mine and I, who were both very into uh, martial arts, decided to go to the Shaolin Temple. You know, it's kind of the birth of martial arts, and uh, we got off of a 12-hour uh, train ride down there, and we got immediately Shanghaied onto a bus. We we both. We got Shanghai and Luoyang, yes. Um, it, uh, it, it was interesting because we went and we said, this goes directly to the Shaolin Temple. We were speaking Chinese. We actually spoke pretty good Chinese at the time. And uh, they said, oh yeah, directly to the Shaolin Temple. And we have no idea where we went. Um, we went to four different temples, all of which were um, very, very ancient Buddhist temples. In, um, in the back of a bus, the uh, tour guy was talking way too fast for us to actually understand. We were terrible at translation. and. Um, what we actually got out of that journey was we got more authentic Chinese temples out of the entire thing before we got to the Shaolin Temple than out of all of it. Because the, Cha the Shaolin Temple had actually been renovated in the last couple of years. It was very commercialized. It was, it was almost kind of like a theme park. It had a little Shaolin show in the beginning and everything. It was, like, it was still interesting. It was still very cool. But it seemed like it was very much catering to a tourist population when we actually kind of went there to find a little bit of spirituality or um, you know, just kind of just get in touch with um, what was more ancient China. And uh, the part that really stuck out for me, and I'm sorry if I'm taking a little bit of extra time, the part of this that actually stuck out for me was we went up Mount Songshan, which is the mountain up top of the, uh, up over the Shaolin Temple where um, Bodhidharma was supposed to have meditated and actually come up with the concept of Kung Fu. He called it the 18 Lohan Hands. It was to keep the Buddhist monks in shape because when he first went to the, for, because when he first went to the Shaolin Temple, it was far too gaudy, the monks were out of shape, and he found that they had kind of lost their way in Buddhism. So he went up and he meditated for nine years, I think, and um, uh, we went actually up the mountain to that cave. It was about five miles to that cave. Um, completely up stone steps that had just been carved straight into the mountain, no handrails or anything. It was interesting as heck. And then when we got up there, it was completely undisturbed um, with two nuns. And that, and that was the thing that stuck out to me, was these two nuns, no temple, no nothing, just a very, just a little shrine in the back of the cave that was supposed to represent something that we're not entirely sure happened. And that, that spoke to me as something that was, um, uh, in essence, among everything else around it, that it, that had become what the Chinese nation was today, it still had a core of what its culture was, um, just hidden beneath that, and you just kind of had to go and search off and find it. And that that was more or less my experience in China.